running this country in this world don't want you to think for yourselves first of all <laughs> and that's why you're seeing all this hot homogenization uh, around us so if you want to be part of a piece of work of art in action right here in this community step over to Main Street and commercial place and there are people there 24 7 for, for quite some time so check it out and support them and work with them on some creative endeavors there some of them might be making puppets uh, you got some people making songs. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got some street artists all here. Absolutely. <laughs> and I think most of y'all have been down there and supported. And it's just a <coughs> wonderful thing that's happening right here in Norfolk. And God knows we need it, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Um, well, I just wanted to see if there was anything else that's going on with any of the panelists in the area in the near future that they could tell us about. Uh, if you Google my name, Nathan Richardson, uh, you're not just going to find me. You're going to find specifically Tampa Real Youth Poets. Uh, okay. Simba, please stand up. Uh, Simba, I brought her with me today. She is a member of the Hampton Road Youth Poets. Uh, group of poets in the area, very talented, ages 13 to 18, who uh, are really talented writers uh, in 
addition to going out and competing in San Francisco uh, at the Brave New Voices International Poetry Slam, we also do events all over the area. We just left uh, Park Place this morning uh, doing an event for, for the community. And so uh, in order for these young people, in order for us to continue to develop them, I'd like to say we, we need your attention, we need you to donate, you know, dollars, cents, whatever, so that we can take you know, these kids and take them outside of the confined. Some of them have never been outside of Tampa Road. And to take them to San Francisco and let them ride hard and see the culture and Berkeley and, you know, and the, you know, the, the root, yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, of a lot of, you know, clients in America is a spectacular thing. So it takes money to do that. So help support us, please. And also, and they have a play coming up and basically um, they have stories where they go out into Norfolk and they find out different stories of different people and they incorporated stories, bands, poetry also be in it. Um, on November the 5th it's free to the public, it's at the Attics Theater, we meet every Monday, band, poetry, art and everything and um, anyways they're going to be doing a free play um, as you, you know and it's basically called Imagine Me and it has playwright that um, the teens wrote uh, poetry and um, band, and I think dancing. So if you uh, want to go to that, it's a free event, and they have free lunch, so it's an exciting. Every Monday night, uh, just up the street from Carowacks is the venue at 35th. There's an open mic every Monday night from 8 to 11. Um, people come from all over the place uh, and get a chance to present their work. Um, and as for myself, um, I'll be warming up the sixth year um, my concise Dickens Christmas Carol, which is a one-man, one-hour performance yes. of, the, uh, of the classic uh, Dickens tale. I do it also, I'll be doing it at the venue, and there are other places too, which I haven't quite uh, nailed down yet, but uh, keep your eyes open for that because of, uh, no, it's been six years, so I must be doing. I must be doing something right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, so that's that's what's going on. My wow. part of the world. Great. If you have a chance to check out the venue on 35th, it's a wonderful um, little 50 seat theater in in Park Place, and um, the ladies own it, Patty Ray and Lucy White. They totally revolutionized uh, a brick and mortar building that had no floors, no ceilings, and made it into a very beautiful venue. Uh, at the end of this month, there's there's actually a Norfolk burlesque scene here, All right. and uh, they are doing uh, peekaboo uh, at, at the end of the month. So uh, check it out online. Uh, just look up um, the venue on 35th Street, um, and so that's in addition to the open mics. And so for um, over at the coffee shop, um, one of the programs that I'm working on right now is actually getting 35th Street lit for the holidays. It's one of the awesome. very few, it's one of the very few commercial corridors in Norfolk. Everyone else has got them. They all got the lights down. Down. Everyone. First Street has it. Collie has it. Ward's Corner has it. You know. Everyone ha else has it, but we don't have it. So what's up? You know. So yeah. So we're do we're taking it on a very grassroots level, and we're going to. And the downtown illumination parade here is Saturday the 19th. So we're going to have our illumination on the 18th, the day prior. And so we are knocking on every door, on every business, encouraging businesses and owners and residents to light up. You know, nice. to, um, so we really want to turn 35th into a winter wonderland. And so, um, and so of course, there might be some residents who may not have lights. So we're doing um, you know, collections of old like um, uh, yard you know, uh, decoration and old you know, lights. We'll take them all. Uh, and we're, and we're, we're, doing it, we're working with um, hopefully with the kids. And, going to decorate uh, each of the lampposts with big red bows and the garlands and you know do it up. So on the 18th we're going to see Park Place light up. So Yay! Okay, I'm teaching at CNU. I'm working in I'm working on a new series of paintings in my studio, a series of landscapes. Um, and also I'm on the New Bridges Public Art Foundation. I'm a board member, and we are getting ready to launch uh, one major piece of sculpture in downtown New York. Thank you. Thank you very much, once again, JP, Nathan, Edie, uh, Philip, Greg, and I'm
Vandas who really came together. None of them knew, I mean, I know you guys know each other. I mean, so we did Okay. That's really great. So we got to know you all, and we will definitely you know, extend our support in all possible. Thank you so much. And, uh, <laughs> Regina and uh, Minerva, who they call them as weapons of mass construction. Woo!